G'day, Scott here on the Brumby again. So, today's job. I'm gonna pop this card off. That requires me to headlight loose, cut the bolts in here. Five bolts up here. I'd have to relieve the, the cowl at the top there so that I can get to the last bolt. Some three bolts down inside here. Take this guard off. Have a look at the two guards that I've got and uh, get going. Just like fixing your phone, I loosened these bolts off first.
So, where am I at? There's one remaining bolt under this cowl cover here. Screws across the front, take the windscreen wiper arms off. This comes up. I've turned the compressor on so that I can clean this out. Uh, give it a bit of a spray with something and clean it all out. I've undone the bolts holding the uh, inner guard cover, the dirt cover to the body so that the cover is going to come out with this. I uh, snapped one bolt off down there underneath where the damage is down on the valance at the bottom. Uh, I snapped the, the little brace that goes across from the guard to the inner part of the body there. Uh, they're notorious, so I've got two more of those. Uh, so this bolt undone and I'm ready to go. Doesn't look too bad. Put that down where I'm going to step on it later. There's that last bolt. Bit of the magic spray in there. The only thing holding me on now is the seam sealer in here. So I'll get a scraper and I'll scrape that off and uh, the guard will come off. It'll just pop straight off. I'm using a plastic scraper. It's made of Perspex. We use them in our game. But there's the compressor. Uh, that's working pretty well uh, and it should be off in a minute. So the seam sealer wasn't as bad a job as I had anticipated. And there we go. And there you have it. So the guard itself, rust-wise, not in terrible condition, which is a good thing. There's that trim, which I need to take off. Subaru badge. Take as many of these plastic uh, clips for the screws. Clean this up and then have a look at the other guard. There's the brace piece that I broke. That's pretty common, I'm told. Uh, I'll get this undone, rescue that bolt. I did, as I said, I've got a snapped one under there. I'll have to work out what my plan is for that. Herein lies the challenge. This guard mangled, but otherwise rust free. This guard straight, 
but unfortunately showing some minor rust damage. The plan is, and today's challenge will be, to cut this piece off here, this section of the guard, clean that up, cut this piece off here, overlap these two pieces, weld it along here and and why have I picked this part here? This is where that black trim goes on and it's going to cover any of the the repair there. So the plan at first is I'm going to cut this one off here, recover the Subaru badge obviously uh, and uh, some of the plastic clips So this is a bit of uh, prep wash I just sprayed on there and again my uh, plastic scraper to get most of the uh, double sided tape off. So I'll sharpen this on the disc sander, as I said to piece of perspex. So the question on everybody's lips is, and I can hear the internet, am I going to sand and paint this before I put it on the car? No. I'm going to not put the seam sealer on and put this guard on so that it doesn't look like I'm driving a wreck around and at a later stage I'm going to take the guards back off, give them a paint. And if this video series goes on to 2023, you'll probably see that there. Sorry about the noise. So the question is, this section here, 
what's my plan? Not so much this one. What I might do here, cut this section off around there, just that part, so that it sits over there. I use the holes to line it up. Yes, I think that's what I'll do. And then I'll do some spot welds here. Weld it down here and here and across there at the bottom. Success. Just in there, file it back a little more. So you can see there my holes line right up. That's not too bad there. I might see if I can push this back across a little more, get it a bit better lined up. Just down there. Right. Better turn it on. What I have discovered is that it is possible to uh, weld these guards 
it is very easy to blow a hole in it, as you can probably see in that top section there. In the overlap section, the settings that I've now figured out mean I can do a, a weld there without blowing through the back. Uh, it does require the most minimum settings on this welder, uh, but I think I've got it. I'll give it a go gently as we go and try it from there. So, there we are. As I am going to paint it later, what I've done is hit it with a little bit of bog, etch primer, looks as good as new. What you can see That's just how I welded it on the other side. Spots along here. Ground that down, a little bit of filler, no worries. On the sides, I was quite apprehensive about the gap. This one uh, was a little big and a little bit offset, but it's come together all right. I'm pretty happy with how it's come out. now to fit it to the car and uh, see how it goes. I'll probably leave the badges off and the mud flap and the trim that's going to cover all of the sins until I pull the guard back off, block it down and paint it white. You will note that the second guard is straight and rust free. My plan is from here, a bit more cleaning in the wheel arch area and the plenum up the top there. Give the engine a hit with some degreaser. Pull this guard off in there with the cleaner bang it all back together and drive out. Couldn't resist a test fit. There we go, it looks pretty good. It's just kind of sitting there at the moment. Once I uh, tidy it up, get the bolts in, I think that'll fit better down the bottom. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't look great. There's a got to pull across with the lower bolt there and there's a couple in beside the door that's not any fault of my welding or patch making uh, I might see if I can tap that ding out of the top of the door there yeah 